All right, guys. So step one, first thing that we're gonna be doing is trying to get this motor to work. Um, we'd love for it to turn over so we could kind of get it working, get the car moving while we gather all the parts for the other things. Um, Cause I will be putting a flathead in this, but just as we're waiting to get all the stuff, going to kind of make it look a lot better. It'd be nice to have it running and like go down the street with it and have it moving and grooving. So I have this concoction that my husband gave me. I'm going to be squirting in the cylinders and we're going to kind of just see, we're going to let it sit and chill and we're going to see what happens. I'm gonna take the nuts off the valve cover and I'm going to open it up, see what's inside, if there's anything broken, kind of just what we're working with here. the motor turning over I'm gonna just let that sit for a little bit I'm gonna rip off these disgusting ugly bumpers. Just a little peek in here before I take everything out hasn't seen a lot of attention obviously in a while so to be expected but the strut towers look good so that's nice Just took the spare out and we found some rot, but I'm not too concerned about it. It's still, still very doable. Much nicer and cleaner. Let's take that shit off.
little trouble getting the bumper off. Thankfully, here we have a Roadster pickup. So Travis is underneath. He's gonna rip the bumper off with the truck. Hopefully. So we'll see if this can get it off. like a little bit left. Oh, let me oops. let me pop that. Well we bent it now. It's off. Now I'll just take all these little screws off to get this black shit off. be expected. So the last thing we're going to do is take the plate bracket off just to make it look a little cleaner. Travis straightened it out down here, the bumper's off. So just taking this off will help to make it look a little cleaner. Work 
So we're gonna do the same with the front bumper, get this off and pull it off with the roadster pickup or we'll just kind of see if it's easy to just do by yourself. today's video i feel like we've got a lot done today aesthetically it's looking a lot better it'll be nice once we get the proper european stuff on here because the u.s ones are just so ugly um and i just wanted to also say if you know anybody selling parts just leave it below in the comments if you have any tips tricks anything like that let me know in the comments i'm super open and excited to hear from other people i love bmws and i'd love to connect with people i'm also looking for various parts so if you or you know somebody selling parts and interior stuff like that i mean i've showed in the last video the interior the back is nice but the front is pretty busted the driver's seat at least just various parts would be helpful and i'll see you guys next time